can't wait till I go home and they don't have to pay for food anymore. <laughs> right? Okay, so how do we start this thing? Um, I've started the recording, button. by the way. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to a new game uh, with Matthew, uh, also known I as False Empathy. New, but yes. Well, a new game to us. We've never played this okay. game before. Um, I've, I've read good things about it on its reviews. Uh, it's called We Were Here. If it's any good, it's got a sequel, so that's good. Um, I believe it's some sort of, like, you're lost in this area, gotta escape from, uh, this haunted house or what's it. Uh, I'm gonna play as the explorer while Matthew's playing as the librarian, and we're gonna... I'm gonna ready up, and the game's gonna start. Oh, awesome. Cool. That's all I know about the game. Do you know anything else about it, no. Matthew? No? <laughs> uh-uh. Not at all. Okay. Then I guess we're just gonna go on this adventure together. Um, I really enjoyed our last puzzle game together. Oh, we got cutscenes? Fancy. All right. Uh, looks like, yeah, we wandered through the snow towards the mountain, mountain of doom, mountain of death. Hey guys, let's go to the mountain of death. Oh yeah, that's my favorite mountain. Hey Matthew, what's your favorite mountain? Matthew? Matthew? I'm lost. Matthew, I can't, I can't hear you. Are we split up? Gives us microphones and then splits us up. How dare they? All right, fine. Oh, and we got knocked out. That explains a lot. There's some kind of creep. I can hear whispering as we were here. Roll credits. Alright, well, I feel like I could have skipped that, and I feel like Matthew might have, and that's why I can't hear him. Can I move? <gasps> Whoa! Okay. I can move. I'm in a cave. I'm in a dungeon, and it's spooky. I move real nice. Alright. Sparkly moving... All right, there's got to be a way to talk to Matthew. There's got to be a way. Maybe there's a maybe there's a walkie-talkie in this door. All right. Interact is probably E. <gasps> walkie-talkie. Walkie-talkie. B to talk. B to talk. I I have a I have a walkie-talkie. Hello. Matthew? Jesus. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a green light up there. And these are runes. That means N. That means M. Uh, that's not Nordic, nor is that. I think that one is, and that one is. I think that's an S. Okay. What's that say? Uh, the answer lies. Hey, Matthew, the answer lies. Just had to let him know. I wonder if he can hear me. I wonder if he's got the walkie-talkie yet. He's probably still going through the cutscene. Matthew, are you still going through the cutscene? I'll take that as a yes. Can you hear me, Matthew? I'm on the table. Pick up the walkie-talkie. He's probably got a similar looking uh, outfit going on. Okay. Got knocked over bookcase. Books open. Oh, hello. Oh, my... Oh my god! You scared me so much. Oh, that was so loud. Yeah, you are so loud. Give me one sec. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah. Oh, scariness. I've got runes. I seem to be in some kind of library. Which makes sense. I'm the librarian. But I have very limited space to walk around in.
return to game. Okay, cool. I was messing with audio controls. So you're in a library. Uh, do you have any way that you can tell me, like, runes or an order of runes? Because I can press some runes, it looks like. Oh, yeah, and I've got blood on the wall that says the answer lies. So just so you know, the answer lies. I'm in what looks like a cave, and there's this purple door that's blocking my path. My book says between the eyes. Between the eyes. Alright, well I've got two eyes. One of them's green, one of them's red. And between them on the wall is a bunch of these symbols. Most of them are like Nordic runes. I say Nordic, no, like uh, Viking runes? You have directions. You have directions is what I heard. Did you say anything before that? What does your surroundings look like to you? My surroundings are a cave. You're in a cave? Well, more like a catacombs, like a Victorian style catacombs. I've got a bunch of pillars, alright, and then there's this door that's got this uh, metal grate in front of it, like I'm in like some kind of Legend of Zelda boss room. I have a knocked over bookcase, and on the wall behind that bookcase, it's got written in blood, the answer lies. Just across from that, I've got, on two of the pillars that are on this room, like eyes, uh, one green on the left, one red on the right, and then in between them on that wall is a bunch of runes. Are the eyes again? Uh, the left one is green and the right one is red. Okay, um, press the rune that looks kind of like a mountain going upwards. It looks like a check mark, but it has little two little thingies on the end of, on the ends of it. So it looks like a check, but it has like how do I even explain that? It looks like a musical note almost. And then the other one is an M that has an X kind of sealing it in the middle. get that? Yes, I did. All right, that opened the door for me. Uh, by the way, both of those were... Oh, okay. The door shut behind me and I got spooked. Oh, the door opened for me as well. There's a clock. I'm scared. All right, I'm in a room. There's a painting of a bird with a skull, like a human skull. All right, I've got another grate. There's a pattern on a rug below me and more runes on the walls. What do they look like? Uh, there are too many to go through quickly. I've got a clock, a grandfather clock, but I can't see into it. Jeez, it's scary. You said clock. Yeah, it's a big old grandfather clock. I can't see into it. It's too dark. Okay, I walked up to the bird painting, the one with the human skull. And, uh, it's creepy as hell. Copy, creepy as hell, bird. Uh, it looks like I take the symbols and then put them below the bird, uh, to move forward. Can you describe the bird to me? Uh, sure thing. Uh, it is a, like a stork, alright? It's a gray stork with a human skull. It's got a red background. Yes, that doesn't narrow it down, like, at all. Alright, what factors might narrow it down? Does it have a snail shell on it? No. Uh, normal stork, nothing abnormal other than a human skull for a head. Okay, just verifying. I think I have the right one for you. Um, I have three glyphs here, if you want to know what they look like. abs positive -alutely. One looks like a cut a cup with boobs. Um, then the next one kind of looks like uh, a fishing hook 
with like a little plus sign on the top left in a circle. All right, let's go back to the boob cup, please. What looks to be like the top half of a box. And then the one is a turtle that has a plus sign on it with, it's, it looks like it's standing on like a little, like this. it's on a stand. <laughs> All right, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. From now on, we're gonna go with the uh, protocol of over, over. No. Well, I just keep talking over you. Oh, sorry. All right, well, here's the thing. Tell me about the boob cup, over. What do you What do you want to know about it? It looks like a cup that has like two little legs and boobas. How many boobas? Is it one big booba? It's like two boobas. All right. Uh, I think that this is the right one, but I hope I'm right. Or it looks like a guy with like a half circle head crying. Oh. That's another way to look at it. And that one goes in the first slot, correct? Then the fish hook, then the turtle. Copy fish hook. All right, does this fish fish hook have arms? Uh, the best way I could describe it is on the very top left, there is a plus inside of a circle. Then uh, at the base of the plus, it goes down into a swirl, right? But at the same time, right when it leaves the plus, like right at the plus, is the top of a box containing the fish hook. So it, it, it looks like the top three parts of a square, right? So the left half, top, and the right of a square. Oh. Plus sign in the circle on the top left. All right, I found the fish hook. Okay, I found the fish hook. Bizarre. Okay, and the last one's a turtle on a stand, you said, yeah? Yep, it just looks like a turtle on a stand. Or a fat man being pale. Alright, that opened my door. Fantastic. Next. And of course the door's gonna shut behind me and lock me in here all spooky-like. You have to tell me, like, I have a bajillion answers to all your problems, but you have to explain to me what your issue is. Alright, so, this new room, I've got pipes visible. There's a second floor that's making me go walk down. Uh, I've got a door that says green and the water's rising. What? Alright, there's water rising. The door says green. There's a word that says green. I've got pipes, and I'm gonna try to find something that I can interact with. Green pipes? No, not green pipes. The door above it is written, it says green. I have green books. Oh, wait, I found a door that's newly open. Um, I have suits of armor in here. I have... Oh, I have to go all the way down. Oh, yeah, I have a room full of pipes. And yeah, I don't have time. I'm gonna die here soon. Three valves. One yellow, one red, one blue. Green. Oh, okay. Just have to mix them. Got it. Uh, thank you. The room was half full with water. Ah, uh, sorry. All right, new room. I'm walking through the door now. Uh, give me one sec. This is very, this is surprisingly easy. All right, this room has a button on the floor. It's a hallway, and I think I've already pressed the button. That guy had to run down a cord. But... It doesn't seem like any new doors were opened. I keep talking over him. Uh... Hey, Matthew. Cause he's, he's holding down the talk button. Hey Matthew? Hey Matthew. What? We keep trying to talk at the same time. Sorry. All right, I got into a new hallway. There's a button on the floor. I think I accidentally pressed it. Okay, uh, what does the button look like? Just a uh, rectangular gray button, but uh, I'm gonna see if this door opens. Yeah, the door opened. Okay. 
Ah, I did it again. There's a button that I totally walked. Okay, well. I can't read that. Bring down the guiding. I, I don't know what you're looking at. I'm All right, so I've entered a new room, and there's this gate blocking my path. There's possibly a lever I can pull to uh, get past it. The answer is yes. All right. Uh, beyond that, I'm unaware if I'm actually going to be able to get through here. I've reached a room with a, uh, a, a compass on the ground, and there's blood writing on the wall. It says, bring down the guiding light. Bring down the guiding light. Correct. I've got more. That guy looks scary as hell. I really hope that's not alive. Huh? Yeah, I really hope that's not alive. Why do all the puzzle games have horror aspects? And I don't need this kind of stress in my life. Ah, oh, there's another one. Of course. Yes, and I have more stuff uh, to describe to you. I've got extra hallways with even more stuff down them. <clears throat> oh, okay, no, I, okay, so there was, okay, so I have two floors, right? I have a floor up top and a floor down bottom. Hi. And then I just figured out what this lever does. So there's this lever, right? Jeez. And I didn't know what it did, and I kept hitting it, wondering, but no, it lowers and raises the chandelier. And when I lower the chandelier... When you lower the chandelier, what? The map. When you lower the chandelier, what? Well, the map started showing colors, so uh, apparently there's an intro, there's an inside and an outside. Um, what what is what is? I think what, this is a maze. So I think I'm in a maze, Matthew, and I think you've got to try and guide me through it from this uh, this compass. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Um, so. Where are you right now? Do you see like a white door? Um, I... I just got to the bring down the guiding light portion. Alright, so do you have a way of finding out where that is? The chandelier. You were talking while I was talking? Say again? You were talking while I was talking, so you didn't hear me say that I'm by the bring down the guiding light portion, and that's where I'm just gonna stay until you uh, figure out where I am, or if you need me to go find more places over. Okay. Oh, it goes away over time. Okay. <clears throat> I have to. I have to go back up and get the switch. Give me a second. Okay. So listen. Right? So, you have a compass, right? Correct. Over. Okay, so I want you to follow the red wall. Well, the red right wall. Right wall. Until you reach a room, like, there's some stairs to the right. Go either up or down, and there's a room that looks like a square. In there should be a switch next to three boxes and something, like... Long, maybe like a bench All right, I'm not going to pull it until he sells me to. Yeah, I've by the lever. Uh, should I pull it? Yep, yep, yep. All right. It feels like one of those things where it's like, you yeah, it? you see that lever? Yeah, I heard something move. I don't know what it was. You see that okay, lever? So don't just, pull it. So the way I can describe this is the thing you just hit is a switch. Okay, right? it's a switch. This switch controls doors inside the maze that open and close in conjunction. I have the key that tells me what doors it opens and closes. Your I'm trying to guide you through the maze to actually get to the certain switches. I see the path you have to take, right? So, okay. it's a little weird, but I will get you there. All right. So, you hit the blue one. Yes, I did. Now, I need you to go out Back. of that room. Got it. To the left, 
Out of the room to the left. Go straight. Until you reach a room. Like, that's about the same size as another square. Okay. Right. Go all the way down, and there should be a door right to your right. Like, right in front of you. Matthew, there's something down here with me. What is it? I don't know. It was on the floor. I'm scared to go down the hallway that you told me to. All right, uh, once I turn out from that room, go left, down, and then turn right, and then go down this hallway, where am I going? There, you should be in a, a bigger room than the room you were just in. Uh, there should be boxes to your right. To the left of those boxes is going to be another switch that's going to close the door in front of you, but open a different door to a different switch. All right, so here's the thing, Matthew. I'm going back to that room with the blue switch. And, uh, and then you're gonna have to retell me it all over again. That way I can know where I'm going. Alright. So. You are gonna be in the room with the blue switch, right? Oh my goodness. I want you to face out the door. Gotcha. And walk straight the until door. you can't walk anymore. Straight until like I can't walk anymore. Wall. Into the wall. Then as soon as you hit that first wall, you're gotcha. going to turn to the left. Turn to the left. Walk all the way down. All the way down. As far as you can, as and far as I can, room in a in a square. Room with a square. Yeah. You're gonna turn right in that room. Turn right. And walk in this straight room. down that hallway, turning right. Turning right. Of course, I'm turning Did right. I lose you? Turning right. Keep going. All right. Turn right. Walk forward all the way down, and you should have a either closed door in front of you or an open door. I don't know the current status of the door. But you should be able to walk into a much larger room. And in that room, there should be boxes to your right. Yeah, I got the boxes. And a green lever. Hit that and tell me if the door to your, like, the left of the green lever is open or closed. You need it closed. Uh, it ain't closed, Captain. But, uh, we're gonna have to stop for the next episode, and we'll see you guys later, yeah? Okay. Alright. I'm gonna be stuck in this dungeon. I'll see you guys next time. Ugh.